I've come to believe that the what can be done is the wrong question. As a member of the Cincinnati School Board, Mike Morosky is not afraid to talk about tough issues, including kids who commit violent crimes. I've come to believe that the, the right question is, why is everything we do not work? Because we do a lot. We put more cops on the street, we invest in social emotional learning, we invest in anti-bullying at the district level, we invest in all these things we spend, and it doesn't work. Morosky says the only way those efforts will work is if more people take a stand against violent behavior. We live in a society that holds violence up as a virtue. And if we don't have the courage to admit that, nothing's gonna change. On my docket, I deal with the most violent cases, the harshest cases, right? Judge John Williams runs Hamilton County's juvenile court system. He says dads who neglect their responsibilities pose a real danger. You know, we could use more fathers candidly being involved. Uh, mom's working two jobs. If you ask anybody, if your mom's working two jobs, you know, how much parental supervision are you going to have, right? And then you get with a group of kids that aren't so great, you know, it's tough. We've all been impacted by what's happening in our city. Kathy List, who leads Big Brothers Big Sisters of Cincinnati, agrees with Williams that men need to step up, but she says everyone can lend a hand. Especially male role model, we have a huge need for men. But there are other fixes that everyone listening can help with. We have 400 kids on our waiting list, 400 kids that are going to be influenced by someone. And that's 400 young people who would like to have a connection with a responsible adult. And Kathy List says out of the 1,100 children currently being served by Big Brothers Big Sisters, 99% are not involved with the juvenile justice system, which means they're apparently doing a good job of staying out of trouble. Todd Dykes, WWT News 5.